Hello there. Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon. From Merlin Park, Merlin Woods, and Merlin Castle. Three things, which, yeah, I'm gonna talk about Dublin, but I'm just here now, so. Cue the drone shots. Okay, so Dublin. Just a few things I believe everyone should know before going there or considering living there or things like that. So, let's start. Number one, it's of course capital of Ireland. It's a, also a cultural capital. But my point one is it is very, very international city. Literally, there's people from every corner of the world living there, as well as uh, Irish people from all over the country who come there to work, to live, or study or whatever and to, to add to that there's a fantastic uh, restaurant scene there if you love, love food you can find anything from Polish Chinese French anything believe me so yeah my number one would be it's a very very international city so if you like that kind of stuff you will like Dublin number two I read on the inter internet the expression the buzz so that would apply pretty well to Dublin, I believe. Anywhere you go, after work, after breakfast, someone will start a conversation with you. Either it's at a bus station or there's a taxi driver that's gonna talk your ears off. Anything like that, you will never feel like you have no one to talk to. Like, the, if you're going out, the pubs are, okay, pubs are closing quite early actually but there's always gonna be someone inviting, inviting you to their house to keep the night young until the early hours it's that's if you like those kind of stuff brilliant why not go out come back home in three days good for you The next selling point for Dublin would be the nature, which sounds a little bit weird considering it's a capital town, city. But yeah, in Dublin, wherever you are, you're always 20-25 minutes away from a park, botanical garden, woods, mountains, you name it. Plus, there's a Phoenix Park, which is, I believe, the biggest park in Europe, biggest city park in Europe. There's even deer there. so. Come on, nature lovers, you won't mind Dublin that much. Moving on, jobs market. Facebook, Twitter, Google, Microsoft, all huge companies. Most of them have offices in Dublin and most of those offices are serving as a head office for Europe or at least Western Europe. So, if you're an IT guy, I think the Dublin is a heaven. Plus, of course, with all of the restaurants, retail and everything else, I believe the job market is in Dublin is, is amazing. You can find a job in a day or two. I, I think if you really want a job, you, you will never be unemployed. I'm a little bit off the path now, so better be careful. But my next point was going to be the history. You can't talk about Dublin without mentioning its history. I mean, you can still, like if you go to the general post office, you can still see the bullet holes from the conflicts that were happening, let's just say. Plus you have the, the Guinness Distillery, of course, the Trinity College, you can see the Book of Kells, I mean, there's a lot to see and do, plus all the, of the museums, of course. I mean, come on, yeah. History, Dublin and history are... And then there's traveling. I mean, Ryanair, Irish company, trust me. When I was living in Croatia, co the connectivity, is that the word? Let's say the connectivity of Zagreb versus Dublin is 
I don't know. It's not comparable. Like you can literally go anywhere from Dublin, especially the, the European capitals for like 30, 40 euros, 60 if, if it's expensive. It's unbelievable. And uh, to, to reach out, I don't know the word, the expression, to, the, to my next point, it's uh, Dublin is a walkable city. I mean, it's a capital, yes, but uh, the most of the stuff are located in the city center. Plus, even the ones that are not, it's not that big. You can actually walk it. So, like, a lot of people put uh, the non-existing metro as a con of living in Dublin, but I don't think it needs it. It's, it's not that big. I think this is a path here. <clears throat> Wait, I'll show you. Oops. <clears throat> Don't know what this is, but let's take a walk through this now. And while I'm doing that, uh, I also I do have some stuff that I don't like and that I believe you should know. So let's get to the three points of cons of Dublin. That was a dead end, by the way. Just fucked up my pants. But yeah, cons of Dublin. Number one. I forgot what number one is. Number one. The housing crisis. It affects the, I believe, most of the Ireland, but in Dublin it's it's crazy. Like, if you want to pay for a, even for a room, you it will cost you at least 1,200 euros up to the 2,000s. I believe it's very 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 expensive and it's hard to find a good accommodation. Like I read somewhere that the Dublin is 45% more expensive than Belfast and even 18% expensive in compared just to Cork. So it, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the second thing would be the constant and never-ending construction. Whenever I was there, on too much places, there's construction construction going on, and they, they never end. Like some sites are under construction since I moved here, so that's four years ago. It's crazy. And the last point, except for me trying to find a way out of these woods, would be just a general capital and big, big huge, not huge, big city things. Like traffic, for example. Terrible. But yeah, if you don't like big cities, you won't like Dublin. But that's not specifically Dublin's problem. But yeah, I, I just wanted to mention it. So yeah, if you like this, press the like button. If you didn't press the dislike one, press the subscribe button. And don't forget to check my Instagram page. I would love for you to give me opinion on that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.